you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. What is up, Ill Dream family? It is Aiden, and I'm back at y'all with yet another video. And I'm well aware of the fact that I've been gone for a long-ass time, but, like, I just got so busy with fucking work and all of that shit that I ended up, you know, slacking on my videos. And for that, I apologize, but as you saw by the clip in front of this one, this is actually going to be a video about my poetry. Um, now, as I have mentioned in a couple of videos previous to this one, I am a poet, um, a writer. I wrote, I, I talked about it in my Dare to Inspire video, um, as I talked about photography in that video too, but this one is pretty much similar to a Dare to Inspire video, except it's not going to be quite as long because it's about one specific topic, and you know, it's about one specific topic, so let's hop right into it and stop talking so that I can get shit done, so that I can edit. Alright, so pretty much what I, what I did was I had Peyton write me a list of four to five questions that he would want answered and I'm gonna give them about two minutes each but I'm not gonna promise they're gonna be exactly two minutes whether they may be shorter or longer so let's get into it so the first question is does poetry make you forget about reality um yes to a certain extent poetry does make me forget about reality but poetry also reminds me about reality like I think the thing about my poetry is that most of my poetry is like speaking about stuff that goes on in reality like like my high school suicide poem or like the one uh, titled you are the moon which I'm actually gonna read at the end of this video um, they both are about people or about stuff that I think is a serious political matter like um, the if high school were, po were suicide poem is actually a slam poem so it's political in some way and you are the moon is it's kind of a love poem, but it's not exactly a love poem. Um, so what I do is I, I take the reality that exists in the outside world and I put it into my head and I just I sit down and I take the time to think about it and just like drink coffee and like sit outside and like look at my, my book until something comes to me and then like from there it's just like writing, 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 editing, sending it to people to edit, editing some more and then final copies that don't go anywhere but into my phone right now. Um, until I think of somewhere to put them. Alright, so question number two is what is your favorite thing about poetry? Um, I think my favorite thing about poetry is you can either make it abstract or you can make it concrete. Like, if I want to write a poem about dogs, I'm going to write a poem about dogs. And it's probably going to be titled Dogs and you're going to know it's about dogs from the beginning or... If I want to write a love poem that doesn't seem like a love poem, I'm going to write about how I feel about the sky or something like that. And then from there, it'll be, it, I'll, I'll pretty much, from that poem, I'll, it's talking about how I'm afraid of, you know, loving or how, you know, how I believe that love is a beautiful thing, but it can be scary, you know, kind of like the poem that I wrote today. Uh, which doesn't even have a title yet. Then I may or may not read that at the end of this video. I guess we'll see how much time we have left by the time we get to the end of the video. Question number three. Do you see yourself doing poetry in the future? Dude, yes. That would be so fucking lit. Just like poetry. I would love my life. I would really love my life. Like, uh, my plan is to go to the military um, for at least 20. And then after... Um, my 20 ends, I kind of want to come back um, and I want to start a like children's care program where pretty much I work with creatively inclined kids, whether they be writers, um, like authors, like short stories, memoirs, stuff like that, poets, uh, painters, people who draw, you know, people who take pictures, just pretty much any type of creatively inclined kid. I want to start pretty much a community outreach center toward them wherever I'm at and hope that it will, you know, travel across, you know, the country, potentially across the globe if possible because that would be so 
so, so fucking lit. What inspired your drive for doing poetry? Uh, my mom is a poet. And I just thought, you know, I, I was a really good writer and I love reading. And so reading increased my vocabulary and it made my words more grandiloquent to use. And from there I just started writing and writing became poetry because originally I wanted to be a songwriter, but then I realized that I only have a little bit of rhythm and you don't necessarily have to have rhythm to be a poet. So I started writing poetry and all of my poetry is free verse. Like I don't really like writing poetry that's not free verse because then I feel like you're constricting what I can say because I have to rhyme. But yeah, this short version of that answer was my mom inspired my drive for poetry. Um, what is your favorite thing to write about in your poetry? Um, I am not a love poet, but probably love. That makes absolutely no sense, but um, pretty much I enjoy writing about love, the concept of love, but I don't, I am not a love poet. Like, I don't write about love. No. Maybe the abstract form of the truth about love, or maybe the abstract form of my perception of love, but I don't write about love. I am not a love poet. Um, so those were all five of his questions. So I'm going to read these. And originally I was going to like get up and do cool stuff, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to read them here. Alright, so um, the one that I was talking about that... I wrote about the sky that was just pretty much being terrified of love. Um, we'll go first. And it says, I've always been terrified of what happens when the sun goes down. But how could you be afraid of something you look forward to? How could you be afraid of something so beautiful? Blues, reds, purples, and oranges. Why fear something so inviting? Invitations to be me. Invitations to be you. Because you're afraid of what they'll say when they see you. So you never let them see you. And maybe you're... It's, Maybe you aren't as terrified of what happens when the sun goes down because then they can't see you, but you see me. I've always been terrified of what happens when the sun goes down. Maybe because all of my nighttime demons may catch up to me. Maybe because darkness invites the people that I don't want around. And although the sunset is so appealing, almost like the model that you fall in love with in the evening knowing that she'll disappear at night, I have always been terrified of what happens when the sun goes down. So I'll probably end up naming that one when the sun goes down because, I mean, I repeated the same thing about being terrified of when the sun goes down like 20,000 times. Okay, so the other one that says you are the moon, which is the one that I originally said I was going to read, goes, <clears throat> you are the moon, craters from where his words punched your surface, penetrated the strongest of skin, made you appear weak. But to me, a tiny speck of human sitting on a vast amount of positive space I call Earth, you are beautiful. I love staring at you at night as I puff on my cigarette and tune my guitar. I write you poetry in my own little world of imagery. I anticipate the sun's death every day so I can watch you shine. Your beauty cuts me deep like the sharpest of knives on the darkest of nights. The words you whispered to me through the vast sky, you remind me of the moon. Craters from where they spoke their ignorant opinions one too many times about how they wish you'd be blue tonight. But baby, you are my moon and if I was the sun, it would be my honor to die just so you can shine. So those are a couple of my poems and that was me answering five questions about poetry to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is Aiden. Remember to follow me on Instagram, which I put down below. Twitter, which I put down below, although I don't really put anything on there. And I will actually maybe possibly just like take a picture, like screenshot my little snap code for snapchat and put it on the screen at the end of the video so y'all can add me on snapchat too thank you guys so much for watching it is aiden and i will see y'all in the next video